Get ready to be amazed by the latest technology development, Robot Insects. These tiny robots are modeled after real-life insects and designed to mimic their behavior. From flying bees to crawling spiders, these machines take biomimicry to the next level. But what are the practical applications of such inventions? Could they be used in search and rescue missions or for environmental monitoring? Keep watching to find out how these robotic insects could revolutionize the way we approach various fields. First up, Harvard University scientists have developed tiny robo-bees to pollinate crops. Weighing only 80 milligrams, equipped with wings that flap 100 times per second, they can hover and transfer pollen. The technology could help combat the bee shortage crisis and improve crop yields. The researchers hope to make the drones autonomous for field use. The robo-bees also have other applications like search and rescue, exploration, and surveillance. The best part? They can't sting you as real bees can. Despite its potential, the robot's current limitation is being tethered to an external power source. However, the team is not waiting for the perfect power source to perfect other design elements. Instead, they are simultaneously developing lightweight power options, sensors, and manufacturing methods. The team's multi-pronged approach demonstrates their determination to overcome challenges and deliver results. Moving on to robotic roaches with a cockroach smell. They could influence real cockroaches' behavior, which could apply to other social animals. Scientists also developed an interface to control cockroaches for information collection and transmission remotely. They steered them along a path using electrical impulses to their antenna. The idea is that they would find survivors in cramped spaces after natural disasters. It's a cool concept, but let's hope we're unconscious if we need to be rescued from roaches. Real maggots were historically used by doctors to treat infected wounds. Scientists at the University of Maryland are developing a maggot-like robot that can eat brain tumors from the inside. Current brain tumor surgery is risky, but a remotely controlled robot could increase accuracy and control during MRI scans. This can increase surgical accuracy and reduce damage to healthy tissue. This technology could become a reality in just a few years. This could make brain surgery safer and more effective. Spider robots, inspired by arachnids, can climb walls and inspect buildings. Researchers designed the robots to mimic spider movement and behavior. The bots have multiple legs and use adhesion and suction to climb. They can cover rough terrain and scan for damage or hazards. The spider robots are flexible and can navigate tight spaces. They may have the potential for search and rescue missions or building inspections. The spider-inspired robots are equipped with advanced sensors and cameras. They can navigate complex terrains, such as disaster zones, to gather crucial data. The robots have the potential to help first responders and emergency personnel in search and rescue missions. The robots' lightweight and small size allow them to access hard-to-reach areas. They can climb walls and crawl through narrow gaps, giving them a significant advantage over traditional search and rescue equipment. These robots are just one example of how technology is advancing to improve our lives. As researchers continue to innovate, the possibilities for future applications are endless. Clean water has been the greatest problem for quite a while now. Researchers built a robot that jumps like a water strider insect. The robot can jump up to 14 centimeters and may eventually swim too. Another robot, called Robot, uses Carrick City water bugs as inspiration. Robot swims for months and converts gunk into electricity for fuel. The technology may help clean water efficiently in the future. Scientists have taken inspiration from manta ray and created a soft robot. It swims faster than anything that's come before it. This butterfly-like robot flaps its wings just like the stroke of a butterfly in water. This allows it to move at a whopping 3.74 body lengths per second. That's over four times faster than previous soft robots. And the weight? Only 2.8 grams. They've even designed two different variations of the robot, one with impressive speed and the other with sideway maneuverability. But that's not all. The team has also utilized a new bistable wing mechanism. This allows the wings to move passively, reducing weight and increasing efficiency. Although this model does have a few limitations, the team is already working on an autonomous version of this robot. With their innovation approach, these scientists have proven that by looking to nature, we can create faster and more efficient robots. Ants coordinate to accomplish incredible feats. Physicists and engineers study their abilities. James McLurkin created ant-inspired robots for exploration and rescue missions. 
The robots communicate like a colony of ants. They have internal computers allowing for effective coordination. These robots travel 10 inches per second. Their goal is exploration, mapping, and surveillance. The robots have the potential for Mars exploration. They also resemble hockey pucks. The ant-inspired robots are ideal for search and rescue missions. The robots may assist in earthquake recovery efforts. Rice University currently possesses one of the robots. Moving on to termites. Termites can cause damage, but they're skilled builders. They can erect mounds as tall as 40 feet. Inspired by termites, Harvard scientists created robots to construct large structures. The termites project involved 7-inch robots that can move bricks. The insect robots can work alone or collectively on reinforcement projects. With just three robots, the team built an 80-brick staircase. The Termes robots can grab bricks, flip them, and deposit them correctly. They're ideal for construction, exploration, and reinforcement projects. Robo-termite grippers can lift bricks and build staircases without coordination. Harvard roboticist Nils Knapp is developing modified termites for construction jobs. Centipedes move well. Carl Bobringer created a robot that mimics them. Built through a process similar to computer chips, engineers made a 512-legged robot that moves like a centipede. Researchers at Georgia Tech also found that centipedes adjust their movements to match the challenges of their environment. They can even swim by undulating their bodies to generate the right forces, as shown by the species Lithoboeus forticus. The tiny robot can carry over seven times its weight, eventually 50 times. It may not be as fast, but mobility is being improved. The robot has potential uses in space and planet exploration. The team hopes the robot can be used for search and rescue missions and environmental monitoring. This drone is straight out of a sci-fi, but it's becoming a reality. Animal Dynamics Skeeter Drone has military and humanitarian potential. Skeeter's four flapping wings make it more maneuverable and efficient. It's inspired by the flight of dragonflies. Skeeter can fly up to 45 kilometers per hour, despite being only 12 centimeters long. The flapping wing principle makes Skeeter much safer than traditional quadcopters. It can cope with the loss of a wing and it's more robust. Skeeter is ideal for exploring disaster areas in urban canyons. It can fly further and more cheaply than any comparable vehicle. The MOD has funded Skeeter's development and sees its potential. Skeeter could have a huge impact on intelligence gathering in complex urban environments. The drone's ability to fly safely could also save lives. Animal Dynamics work is not just limited to the air. They're also developing whale-like water vehicles and a legged off-road wheelchair. The aim is to make beautiful things inspired by nature. The RoboFly, developed by a team at the University of Washington, is similar to the RoboBee and powered by a laser bee. It's the size of a fly and slightly heavier than a toothpick. The team aims to improve the robot's brain and sensors to navigate and accomplish tasks independently. One potential application is detecting methane leaks, reducing greenhouse emissions. The RoboFly could fly around the building to find gas plumes from leaky pipes. This design is inspired by real flies' ability to find smelly things. MIT engineers created insect-sized robots that light up and fly like fireflies. The electroluminescent soft artificial muscles make them perfect for search and rescue missions. The robot's lights can signal for help in dangerous locations. Transmitting information is difficult for tiny power-constrained robots. Researchers experimented with different colors and pattern lights on the robots. The team tested the robots through iPhone cameras and a special program. The robot's weight only increases by 2.5% with added electroluminescent zinc sulfate particles. Researchers hope to improve the robots and motion tracking for real-time monitoring. The goal is to reproduce Firefly's ability to communicate in flight by flashing their lights. These tiny robots are capable of accomplishing tasks that would have been impossible for humans, from pollinating crops to detecting gas leaks and saving lives in emergencies. These robotic creatures have the potential to revolutionize various industries, from cyborg cockroaches to robo-termites, the possibilities are truly endless. These tiny robots can help save lives during natural disasters. Their compact size and ability to navigate through tight spaces make them ideal for search. The rescuer bees can pollinate crops, helping to secure our food supply. Robofly, powered by a laser beam, can find gas leaks. It has the potential to harvest energy from radio frequency signals. Future advancement could bring even more advanced brains and sensor systems. 
possibilities are endless, and these robot insects are just the beginning. <laughs>